because of what you've done over the last two weeks, an issue that really wasn't a national issue has emerged as the kind of crux test between now and the election for Barack Obama. And a real chance for once to make a dent in the carbon pouring into the atmosphere. I'm from Canada, and let me tell you something. We don't have ethical oil in Canada. We have tar sands oil, which is like regular oil, but a whole lot dirtier. You have to destroy the earth. You have to destroy the earth to get tar sands oil. You have to pollute the waters. We are at a tipping point in America's history for this environmental movement. With the XL pipeline, we could set a standard for everybody else to follow with enough pressure to that man over there. We can change history right now, today. So Barack, I don't know where you are, but if you're listening, I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to bring you to North Dakota. I'd like to give you a taste of my reality. And then I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me that you're gonna do this because I don't think you could. I don't think after coming to my land, you could honestly look me in the eyes and say that it's a good thing. We had a dream that the new president would understand the intergenerational injustice of human-made climate change that he would recognize our duty to be caretakers of creation, of the land, of the life on our planet. For the sake of our children and grandchildren, we must find someone who is worthy of our dreams. To make this movement successful, this moment here needs to be a moment where we say it will not be business as usual anymore. We have got to say this time, at this moment, we stand up and we, as people, say no. This has become the defining moment for the environmental movement in a long time, a galvanizing thing that's really gotten people up and ready to act. We're gonna need all your help. Go to tarsandsaction.org so you make sure you're up to date with what's going on and we have your email so we can enlist your help as things develop. I wish to heck that we could stop right now, but in fact, I wish even more that we take this momentum we've got and for once carry it on to victory. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much. <laughs>